everyone. I'm here with my favourite book, The Lost Words by Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris. Let's see if you can figure out what word we're going to magic back into our language today. Yes, it's the acorn, this little nut, a tiny nut of possibility. The acorn is the seed of the oak tree, one of our most majestic trees. And this little tiny nut can grow into a tree that can live for hundreds of years. And here we have a baby oak tree that we have grown from one of the acorns from the Lost Woods project. The Lost Woods gifted an acorn to every primary school child in Glasgow to grow their own baby oak tree. And when the time is right, they'll collect them all in to plant them in derelict lands around Glasgow to create beautiful wilderness spaces, improve biodiversity and clean the air that we breathe. Planting a tree is a fun and effective way to repair our damaged environment. Acorns are a favourite food of squirrels, jays and badgers. Butterflies lay their eggs on oak leaves so that when their baby caterpillars hatch out they have a ready-made meal of oak leaf to munch on. A fully grown oak tree is home to hundreds of species of wildlife from medium-sized to tiny, many of whom can only live in the oak tree. Here in this beautiful painting Jackie Morris has painted an old oak tree in autumn. The acorns are ripe and ready to drop to the ground. The leaves are turning brown and are already starting to fall. A beautiful owl sits on its perch waiting for it all to happen just as it has seen many times before. In this poem, Robert McFarlane uses an interesting pattern to draw our attention to the possibilities of the acorn. But first, let's read it. Acorn by Robert McFarlane As flake is to blizzard, as curve is to sphere, as knot is to knit, as one is to many, as coin is to money, as bird is to flock, as rock is to mountain, as drop is to fountain, as spring is to river, as glint is to glitter, as near is to far, as wind is to weather, as feather is to flight, as light is to star, as kindness is to good, so acorn is to wood. Did you notice the pattern Robert used to write the poem? He crafted 16 sentences that are different, yet the same. He names individual things and then draws our attention to the fact that when you have many of them together, they create something bigger something more powerful. Those small individual items are bursting with possibility. What does he mention? As flake is to blizzard. A flake of snow is nice to watch falling or it might be fun to catch and examine on your cold hand. But a blizzard of flakes would cover everything in white ready for a snowball fight. As bird is to flock. One bird is beautiful to listen to or to watch, but imagine thousands of starlings swirling above our heads in a murmuration. That would be mesmerizing. As drop is to fountain. One drop of water isn't going to do much on its own, but imagine an elaborate fountain with billions of drops of water ready for us to splash our hands and feet in. That would be fun. As feather is to flight. 
One feather might be fun for tickling somebody with, or making a wish on, or maybe doing some art and craft with. But hundreds of feathers on a bird can make it fly. Imagine that. And finally, so acorn is to wood. One little acorn can grow a magnificent oak tree, but thousands of acorns, along with seeds from other trees and plants, will grow into a magnificent, wonderful wood. So much possibility in such a tiny little thing. Now, let's read the poem again. Acorn. As flake is to blizzard, as curve is to sphere, as knot is to net, as one is to many, as coin is to money, as bird is to flock, as rock is to mountain, as drop is to fountain, as spring is to river, as glint is to glitter, as near is to far, as wind is to weather, as feather is to flight, as light is to star, as kindness is to good, so acorn is to wood. So, how does an acorn turn into an oak tree? Avine is here to show us. So how does an acorn turn into an oak tree? Here's an acorn that has fallen from an oak tree. When it fell in autumn, it was all greeny brown, but gradually, over the cold winter, as it lay in the fallen leaves underneath the oak tree, it turned brown, like this one. When spring comes and the damp earth warms up a little, if the acorn has avoided being eaten by a mouse or a squirrel, it begins to germinate. It sends down its first little root, just like this one. Then other thinner roots start to sprout, like these ones here. If it manages to get its root firmly into damp, healthy soil, the acorn sends up a little shoot like this tiny one here. And over the course of a few weeks, it grows this big, with lovely oak leaves, just like an 100 year old oak tree would have. When this tree is about 20 to 50 years old, it will start producing acorns. And the cycle continues. Thank you, Avi. And here is one of those mature oak trees. I like to think that Jackie Morris chose to paint the owl here because we associate owls with old trees. So having the owl there makes us think that the oak tree is old. Also, owls and oaks feature a lot in our folk stories and we often think of them as wise and old, so they're the perfect pair. Do you know a story with an oak or an owl in it? Maybe you could tell us about it. Or if you don't, why don't you make one up? In this poem, Robert McFarlane invites us to think about the possibilities hidden inside simple, individual things. Could you think of other phrases he might have used in this poem? Like, as person is to community? Or, as bee is to swarm? Or maybe, as spark is to flame? If you can think of some, please let me know in the comments below. Now that we have discovered the last word, acorn. Maybe you would like to draw or paint an acorn or an oak tree or an owl like Jackie Morris did, or maybe write a story or a poem like Robert McFarlane. You could maybe write a story about a, a hungry squirrel finding an acorn to eat, or maybe a clever jay burying one down in the ground to save for later. If you write one, or draw one, please share it with me on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see them. Now, I'm going to relax and enjoy my book. As flake is to blizzard, as curve is to sphere.